Um, so this one is what I carry in my kit. So it's a little bit the same size of um, what uh, the Urban Prepper carry. Uh, it's in this bag. And part of this kit, when I was talking about having my own um, toilet, uh, what I carry as well is a five, um, those buckets, those uh, uh, five liters bucket, I think it's five, five, that everybody have like the plastic buckets and so you can transfer them down in the toilet and also this can live in it and you can have this in your bathroom uh, so now that you're you could separate and have their own bathrooms that way uh, you don't contaminate and you use any bowel movements or vomiting or urine or whatever uh, you could uh, process it differently because you know that they're contaminated with other disease uh, and then they don't contaminate the rest of your area as well uh, So the first thing talking about this is one of those bags and so that means I can create a portable uh, toilet uh, It's basically uh, one of those camping bags um, There's like a gel inside there. So any liquid that goes in there kind of solidify it um, And it's kind of a ziplock bag as well so basically you do your business you close the bag and then when the bags start to be closed it's a self-contained um, system uh, you can find those um, uh, pretty much uh, I think I found in a camping kind of uh, place and uh, they were uh, pretty cheap so I have this this system just for that uh, when I was talking about uh, having your own water source uh, so what I got was a, um, a, a own water. Uh, so that means that any water that they use to clean my hands and things like that, uh, because the nozzles, it's not so much the water inside, but the nozzle in here touching that and with hands and stuff, there's a high risk of contamination and cross contamination. So if I start using this water bucket for somebody else and you know, for my own preps, that means I could cross-contaminate everybody so having a separate water um, because again you'll need to either flush them if it's chemical or or clean yourself flush wash your hands and you'll have to wash your hands a lot because again every time you come in every time you come out um, every time you touch the patient every time you do something you need to wash your hands pretty much all the time um, and uh, they need to drink as well and stuff so having their own source of water uh, could be uh, a good thing and so that decrease and then after the infection you could get rid of that that thing uh, so that way you don't cr cross contamination so having a separate one and they're uh, cheap and easy to collapse uh, when I was talking about the bags uh, so a very specific colors uh, so that way they can um, you can make uh, like altered dressings for example uh, especially if they're a contact you could put them in there so then you know that you process that differently than your other bags um, so anything that has like a, a label on it or is labeled differently uh, then you can uh, know uh, what to use them um, you didn't talk about PPE but my PPE is included in this and they're uh, uh, called disposable uh, hooded. Um, I forgot where I bought that, but they were on sale. And so I got like the big ones and the, the medium ones and stuff. And so my PPE is included in this. Um, then I got a little bit what he was having, but it's the shower curtain that you can find at the dollar store. And so basically I can, uh, I can create my own uh, system and separate uh, a room with uh, those those ones um, bags again for uh, vomiting and urine um, disposal so like self-contain everything uh, then I got uh, how to make and I'll try to find the website that I had to do this so it's how to make a chlorine solutions and so basically this is the solution that you would use to when I keep talking about clean cleaning your um, your your shoes or cleaning your hands or cleaning your glove that's the solution that you need to do and there's a whole recipe there I think it's from the World Health Organization and it's one that you um, 
do with a bucket and liquid liquid bleach, uh, bleach which pretty much are for everyone and it, it tells you exactly the kind of concentration that you need to do based on what you want you want to use uh, so it's it's right in there and then I got the um, process on how to use PPE because again I know how to do it I do it frequently but maybe whoever is going to need to use this won't know how to do it um, so uh, it's important to have it inside there uh, one of those uh, buckets that I was telling you uh, so this one is actually nice because it's square so either I can step in it uh, also when I use for decon and so if somebody is chemically clean and you need to shower don't forget that the water that you're using to clean them is now contaminated because it has all the stuff that they're cleaning so if I'm taking let's say somebody has been pepper sprayed I don't just clean them and leave the water there I have to contain the water because the water is is um, contaminated so if they step in there I could uh, so obviously they get undressed and then they can step in there and then after that if it's not that then it's me either getting in I could clean uh, that could be another bucket for what I was saying to uh, put one of those solutions uh, over here uh, and make a solution inside there so that I can clean uh, instrument can clean uh, gloves and stuff and it's only for the room that I'm using that uh, so it has multiple purpose and it's as you can see very easy to compact um, again this is the PPE but this time it's for uh, this, this one is looks for a droplet uh, so how to put the mask in and uh, things uh, so in my kit I went with a respiratory mask that can be um, adjustable so that way it can be used for different people that goes inside there's two canisters that goes in there they're both N95 another uh, poncho uh, to kind of um, to limit uh, contamination so for example if one of the PPE gets dirty or if one pe as people take off their clothes I can uh, put that in the other thing too uh, if something happens to the person it dies or anything like this I could wrap that in there or, or I could use also the curtains to wrap them up because um, for example in Ebola that was one of the problem is that the body now is a full reservoir of, of, of things regular people that dies are not so much a reservoir of dangers but uh, people with disease that dies then after that you have to dispose of their body so wrapping them in uh, ponchos and um, plastic uh, will contain all that material uh, more plastic bags some of the mask and a uh, um, a, um, a soap so that way a little bar of soap so that I can clean uh, as you can see now it's the mask uh, paper mask but this is more uh, kind of an extra I have the other one so as a backup uh, for those are the canister I was telling you about the N95 um, this is Dawn uh, liquid liquid soap um, why do I have Dawn in there um, it's very good and this is why they use it for example when um, there's oil spills that's why they clean the animals with them it's very good to degrease and so take off grease but it's soft on the skin so it doesn't irritate because you don't want an irritant and imagine that if you have um, whatever chemical on you and you go and you rub that stuff and you make the skin irritated so it becomes red or it, you break it then that contamination can go inside so you want something that is soft on the skin but still take off all that greasy part and so Dawn is good for that and so I got a little bottle of this I have also no rinse shampoo for um, for camping uh, so basically you don't need water because again water is a commodity when you're doing um, this kind of stuff uh, so this you could kind of take a most of shower and decontaminate again it's for decontamination a uh, great book that I bought uh, a long time ago and this one is more about uh, chemical and nuclear emergency but it has a great section also on uh, um, for the biological and it's more for uh, weapons uh, but it has uh, so they explain what it is the cause what to do the major systems the emergency response 
what it is, what kind of symptoms and stuff. There's great tables. I would recommend if you have a kit like this to have this kind of gear guide inside. Um, this is one that I got from one of the places I was working, but when I was telling you about is it airborne contacts and everything but if you can see over here you got on this side here whoops on this side here you got the uh, the disease and then on this side here you got uh, what kind of isolation I need um, so some place like CDC have those um, this one like I said was from work so uh, fits well in it and it's plastified and works great um, so it's it's great to have um, little kit again that came from a, an old first aid kit but it has a biohazard bag and some gloves and the stickers so that's why I put it in there it was more for uh, the bags and the stickers especially to put it on something that uh, doesn't work um, more masks to back up the main one but my main uh, mask that I would use and then um, I didn't put them in here but I, I uh, have now um, um, there are another kit and I'm working on it but <coughs> the cotton mask and so I'm gonna put them in there uh, more body shampoos and a, um, a cleansing uh, document and we were talking about water so what I have in here is um, things to purify water because especially it's gonna have their own water so I have things to purify a little bit more water and those are kind of interesting again from a fir uh, first aid kit that I have but they're thermometers and so there's disposable thermometers and so basically what you do is you put them on the tongue and depending on how the color change you can tell the tem temperature on them and so the beauty with them is that they're, they're disposable so once you use them a few times and they don't they stop working then you just throw them and so that way uh, you don't contaminate all your gear and things like that so with this kit um, obviously I don't have like the tape and things like that but I would be able to uh, use other piece of equipment and actually I may following the video I saw maybe add uh, some tape to be self-contained but uh, this is my uh, kit so I wanted to do a quick video and talk to you soon